I'm about to share with you a Canva hack that saves me so much time and fiddling. And it's one that is so, so easy when you know where it is and how to use it, but game changing if you don't. And it's very, very frustrating when you don't. So I'm really excited to dig into how you can align your elements really easily inside Canva. So hi, if we haven't met before, my name is Jackie and I am a graphic designer who loves teaching business owners all things branding, Canva design, because as much as you can learn to know Canva and all these cool hacks I teach you, there's so much more to design. You can create a really great design, but if it's not aligned with your branding or not strategic in the way that it's designed, then it's not actually going to convert our audience, which as businesses is something that we really need to do. And so that's the stuff I go into in all my different courses and programs. But today I want to go into how you can use alignment to make your designing a lot easier inside Canva. So some things I want to share with you is firstly, how you can design notebooks. So say for example, you're making a lead magnet or a workbook or something where you want lots of lines, but you're having trouble to even evenly spacing them. This is how you can do it. So I'm going to insert a line. I'm just going to hit L on my keyboard. and It's going to bring a line in and you'll see here, I've got a beautiful, beautiful line here. If you ever want to make sure that it stays straight and maybe you're moving it like this accidentally, just hold down shift and it will stay really straight and not go angled. I'm also going to change the thickness of this line. If you are doing a workbook or something, it's really good to have this not too thick because people don't want care about the line. They just want the line as a rough base to write on. They don't want it to be like part of the design. So we want to make sure that's a bit thinner. I also like making my lines dotted to make it even more thinner um, and a bit more dainty. Okay. So now I want to create a whole page of these lines. It's actually quite quick. So what you can do is hold down, this is on a Mac. You can hold down alt slash option on your keyboard and then it's going to make a duplicate. And so if you don't want to do that, you can just press this duplicate button and you just press that over and over again. Now Canva's actually worked out finally that they can, you can keep pressing duplicate and it's going to actually bring these lines together in a way that like it's spacing them out evenly already, which is really, really great. So you can just press this as many times as you want to, and that's going to bring those lines down. But say, for example, you got to the end and you realized, oh, I was meant to have 20 lines here, not however many I've got now. How can I make more? And so what you can actually do is you can create more. So say, for example, I added in a few more. I've just selected, I've just dragged and selected a few of these and I can press duplicate again. I pop those all here, but now what do I do? What I can actually do is drag and select all of these together, press the position tool up here and go to arrange. So arrange is where I want to hang out here and I can press space evenly and select vertically and it's going to space out all of my designs, all of my lines evenly. So now my lines are a lot closer together, but the line spacing between each one is identical. You notice here though, that we've got this, these elements here that I duplicated later, they are jutting out and they're not exactly centered. So what I'm going to do again is grab all these lines, go to position, and then instead of pressing vertically, like I've already pressed, I'm going to press center and that's going to center align all of my elements together. So they're all perfectly lined up. Then just for good measure, I'm going to grab this and just make sure that pink line pops up along the center of my design to make sure that it is perfectly lined up, centered on the page. So that's how you can do lines really easily. And again, if I was to delete a couple of these, maybe to say I wanted a few less, I could just delete those, reselect all of these, press position, and again, press vertically. You can also press tidy up and Canva will do a similar thing. Tidy up uses, uses its brain a little bit more to work out how you want to tidy it. So vertically means that it's going to get exactly what you want. Tidy up means it might do something a little bit fancy, um, but test and play which, which setting works for whatever you are trying to achieve. So that's how you can do lines. Say for another example, maybe you want to share some boxes. Maybe you've got... Um, like maybe you're doing a workbook with a few different, like six different boxes on a page or a social media post with different boxes on a page. How you can do that is add in your boxes. So I'm going to add in a box. I've just pressed R on my keyboard to insert that really quickly. Again, press duplicate and bring that along here. And then I can maybe even just drag and select both of these. Again, press duplicate, drag them down again, duplicate. And now I've got six boxes. Now, again, these are already pretty well lined up because I did it. I did that naturally because when you look at Canva, you can see it's telling me when it's aligned. So you can see this, um, the little 14 that's coming up. That's letting me know that there's 14 pixels in between these two boxes. Um, and also it's got that pink line down the center that's saying these are all lined up vertically. And you've also got the pink lines on the outside, which are sharing that this, these are kind of aligned on the edges as well. So these are actually already okay. But say, for example, I wanted to change things up. Maybe I wanted um, to have these a little bit closer. What I could then do if I wanted all these boxes the same, and you could do this with a few boxes, or if you had like a hundred boxes, this, this concept will still work. I can drag and select each one of these, or if you don't want to drag and select, you can also click on one, hold down shift, click on the next, click on the next. I'm still holding down shift and then I've let go. And I've got all these different objects selected. Say, for example, I had all of them selected and I actually wanted to unselect one of them. I could still hold down shift and it will unselect one of them. So this box here is no longer selected or here or here. So I'm just going to select these three 
I'm going to go to position and I'm going to choose to left align these and then all of them are going to come together and be left aligned according to that top box. Similarly, if I wanted these to be evenly spaced out, like say I had these boxes here were too close, but I wanted this to be the bottom of my page and I go, hey, what's the exact center between these? I could again, just grab all of these together, press tidy up and tidy up is going to work out. I hate you want this evenly spaced here. Another example you might want to do is say you want some circles and you want some circles aligned within the circles. So say, for example, this is going to make sense when I actually do it. Say you want a purple one here and you've got a gray one here. Maybe this one's smaller and this one's a bit smaller again. And I wanted these all centered inside each other. What I can do is select all those elements. I've just dragged and selected all of those. And again, I could just press shift and select if I wanted to press position and go center and also middle, and that's gonna align all of those together for me. Um, these tools are really, really helpful. So what I recommend, if, you, if you've ever got multiple elements, you need to make sure that they're perfectly centered, make sure you just look at these align elements, work out which little which little button is gonna be the one that, makes, that works for you and use it. It's so, so useful. And again, like if I was having multiple pieces of text here, say I've got a heading up here and a little text box down here, and maybe some more text over here. If I wanted to make sure these were all perfectly center aligned, I can then just, click and drag to select all of those, press position and press center. And that's going to make sure everything's centered. It's not going to make sure it's centered to the page though. That's where I need to now click everything, click and drag until that big centered strong line comes down the middle. And that lets me know that this is all centered. So when you're creating designs for your business, make sure that you're always double checking. Is everything centered? Another mistake that I see people make quite regularly, they might be working on a workbook or a design or a social media post. And they've got a few different paragraphs of text. They've got like a heading and a call to action and a paragraph of text. But you'll see here, this text isn't aligned. And so there's two ways you can align it you can either grab it and drag it and wait for that pink dotted line to appear if I just zoom in you'll be able to see that a bit better it's that pink dotted line appearing between the your paragraph text and the lorem ipsum text and again you could do that here or if I didn't want to do it like that manually I could just again grab all of these together press position and then select left alignment I can do the same with right alignment or anything else. The biggest thing here is to actually just do it. So many of the time business owners are creating really fine designs, but they're not taking the time to make sure that everything is perfectly aligned. And that really deteriorates the professionalism of the designs. So they've worked so hard to create this really great graphic, but it's not quite aligned. So it actually just looks really kind of amateur. And so just making sure that you're always going back and double checking, is my alignment spot on? Can I use any of these position tools to make it a lot easier for me? So hope you found that one really useful. If you are ever wanting more support, learning how to use Canva or learning how to use Canva strategically for your business by working Looking at design principles and how they affect how you're communicating, how you're showing up, how professional you're looking. I have a program called DIY Design My Biz and I would love to have you inside. You're on Canva Hacks, but more importantly, you're going to learn from me the design principles that are going to make your design stand out, look professional and actually convert your audience. Not only is it an online course you can work through whenever you want to, for as long as you want to, you can also get a year's worth of support from me inside our Facebook group where you can post questions and you can show up into the monthly group calls as well and get support from me on your designs, we screen share and we chat about it all as well. So if you want more support, make sure you hit that up. I'll pop the link below. Otherwise, thank you for joining me and I'll tune in next week for a new tutorial. If you're not already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out. Thanks for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye.